Our Bible reading for today is 1 Kings chapter 2. This chapter starts with, When the time drew near for David to die, he gave a charge to Solomon his son. Be strong, act like a man, and observe what the Lord your God requires. Walk in obedience to him. Keep his decrees and commands, his laws and regulations as written in the law of Moses. Do this so that you may prosper in all you do and wherever you go. This was an amazing promise as long as David's sons were obedient and followed God with their heart and with all their soul. God would establish establish their kingdom. The same charge is true to us also. If we want to prosper in our lives, be obedient and follow God with all your heart and with all your soul. After that, David gave his advice on dealing with friends and enemies. Regarding Joab, son of Seruiah, he has killed two commanders of Israel's armies, Abner, son of Ner, and Amasa, son of Jether, in peace time. According to the law of God, Joab should die. David said to Solomon, Deal with him according to your wisdom, but do not let his gray head go down to the grave in peace. Regarding the sons of Bersi Lai of Gilead, show kindness and let them be among those who eat at your table. They stood by me when I fled from your brother Absalom. Regarding Shimei, son of Gera, the Benjamite from Bahurim, who called down bitter curses on me the day I went to Mahanaim, do not consider him innocent. You are a man of wisdom. You will know what to do to him. Bring his gray hat down to the grave in blood. Recurring Adonijah. He continued on seeking to be king by his asking for Abishak, his father's concubine, to be his wife. It means that as long as Adonijah lived, Solomon's kingship could not be safe. He had pardoned Adonijah's former conspiracy, but this new attempt was a threat against Solomon's kingship. Because of this, Adonijah was put to death. Then Solomon sat on the throne of his father David, and Solomon's throne was firmly established. Please read 1 Kings chapter 2 to get the whole story in full.